Hi, what's up, Wichita? I want to spend time tonight talking to a group of young black men all across America. Now, what do I call young black men? I'm talking to men between the ages of 15 and 25. And the reason I want to talk to you is because of the fact that all across America, many people are talking at you, talking about you, but no one's talking to you. So I want to talk to you, especially the ones that consider themselves gang bankers and trigger happy individuals who are terrorizing our communities and disrupting the lives of your surrounding neighbors. Now, I want you to know that what you're doing is destructive, not only to your cities, your neighbors, but it's also a matter of self-destruction because what you're doing has no future. It offers no perks. It's just a matter of time before you become a victim of the same things that you are perpetrating on others. Oftentimes, innocent bystanders in our cities and states across America. So I want to offer you an alternative, which nobody else is doing. And that's why I say they're talking at you, but not talking to you. Now, before you turn up your nose, I want you to hear me out because I want to inform you that whether you know it or not, you have a very rich uncle. And your uncle is willing to provide you some real perks if you would just be willing to give him a chance. Now, that uncle I'm talking about is often known as Uncle Sam. And what Uncle Sam offers you, if you would just take him up on it, is something that you're not going to find in the outside world. What he's going to offer you is, first of all, free room and board. And I guarantee you, the room and board that you're going to get from your Uncle Sam is much different than the room and board that you get from these prisons around the country. So I want you to think about it. Free room and board, that's number one. Number two, three square meals each and every day. And again, those meals will be much better than what you will find at your local uh, jail or prison. And the people that you will be surrounded with, I guarantee you, are of a different mindset than the people you will be surrounded with at a prison. So now let's take a look. Number one, you're getting free room and board. Number two, you're getting three square meals a day. Number three, you're gonna get a paycheck each month. You won't be getting that from your local prison. So let's keep going. Now, number four, Instead of you going out stealing guns or buying stolen guns, your Uncle Sam is going to spend his money to supply you with military-type weapons. You like AK-47s, AR-15s, whatever? Uncle Sam has a stockpile of them. Now, so let's move on. Your rich Uncle Sam is going to afford you an opportunity to travel around the world at no cost to you whatsoever. Number five, training will be afforded to you. Okay? You want to learn a skill? You will have an opportunity. You don't get that at your local jail or your prison. Education will be afforded to you at no cost to you by your rich Uncle Sam. 
Think about it. Now, on top of all of that, you get a pension. Okay? Whether you serve two years, four years, or 20 years. Okay? So all you have to do is change your mindset and decide that you want to be somebody. Because let me tell you, on the roads that you're traveling now, you might think you're getting street creds. But I want you to know, the very people you think you're getting street creds from will not spend two days out of a year to come and visit you and bring you a package of cigarettes, a candy bar, or even a handkerchief in that prison. So there is a better way. All you have to do is avail yourself. Your Uncle Sam is offering you a better way, offering you an opportunity to become a productive member of our society. Let's face the facts. Your Uncle Sam is willing to pay you to kill. That's if that's what you like to do. And apparently it is because these jails, I tell you, these jails are overflowing with young black men, 18 to 25, who are charged with shooting, injuring, maiming, and killing somebody from their local community. Folks, that's not the way to live. Let me just tell you, I've always said that drug highways oftentimes lead to dead ends. So if drugs is your thing and drugs and killing your neighbors, terrorizing your local communities, no, no, no. There's no future in that. And that's why we see that so many of our young black men dying every day because of the fact they don't have the right mindset about life, about opportunity, and about respect. They feel that life has nothing to offer them. They feel they have nothing to lose. Think about it. Think about the life you're living today and the life you could be living if you just change your mindset. Forget about your peers. Think about yourself. Think about your future. Are you living the life right now that you want to live for the rest of your life, regardless as to how short or how long it might be? And if the answer is no, take heed to the conversation I'm having with you, not about you and not at you. I'm talking to you. I'm offering you wisdom that your peers don't have and cannot offer you. Take a few minutes. Think about what I've said. Look at this video over and over until it sinks in. There is a better way. You do have a better future in store for you if you will just change your mindset and decide that you want to be a better you, okay? And that's my uh, conversation with you. This is What's Up Wichita.